a polar shift even or an alien invasion. The things that I believe are things like uh, an asteroid could potentially strike the Earth or something in the way of solar activity. Those are the kind of things uh, that I think will contribute to the end of the world. Uh, I think we're a long way away from seeing an alien invasion. I think we're a long way away from seeing a polar shift because a polar shift, even as much as it seems like it's an act of God, I think that we have a virtually uh, 9 out of 10 chance that that's not going to happen because we have never seen that happen before. Although temperatures and global warming seem to be a big factor uh, in years like 2010, 2011, and have received more examination than any natural cause, I think that that one can be ruled out. Um, solar activity is still a potential uh, factor that could contribute to the end of the world. As we know, every 11 years the sun releases a lot of solar radiation and activity, and that uh, could contribute to something happening. There are a lot of things uh, that could happen, and there are some things that we can rule out, which leads me to my next belief. I'm kind of half and half uh, on the end of the world. I believe in so much of it, and the other half of it I kind of want to rule out. I don't want to be as ludicrous as some people and say, oh my god, we're going to be in for an alien invasion, and we're going to see life forms that have never been discovered come to Earth to either abduct us all or to contribute to the rehabilitation of the earth after several natural causes. Of course, the very successful movie that was released several years ago documenting the end of the world was based on natural causes and that to me seemed very realistic. That's why I buy into the idea of natural causes. A very talented cast that got the point across, but we didn't hear about alien invasions uh, like the other 2012 movie that was released several years ago. Uh, I think that it was just based on things that seemed believable. Uh, and I think that releasing the movie gave people a better detailed look as to what could potentially happen if the world was ever overtaken by natural causes in the way of volcanic eruptions, uh, severe hailstones, uh, asteroids striking the Earth like an Armageddon, uh, things like that seem to be more believable, and I think that really contributed to all the speculation really increasing following the release of that movie. If you haven't seen it, you can definitely download it from several torrent sources like kickasstorrents.com, isohunt.com is another source. A uh, great movie, and I think it was a great adaptation of what is believed to happen, but again, um, you know, it's just what they believe is going to happen. I think that some of the natural causes uh, that were emphasized in the film uh, were very far-fetched, and uh, it's highly unlikely that some of them are going to happen. I'm not going to rule out all of them, uh, but if the world is going to come to an end, I would venture to say it's going to end more so because of a natural cause than things like an alien invasion or the Earth splitting. Although the Earth splitting and uh, the polar shift are considered natural causes, I think we're a long way away from seeing that happen. The day that I go out for a walk and notice uh, underneath me that the Earth is cracking uh, is a long way away. We're just about a week away from the uh, end of the world. And you would think that if we were a week away from the end of the world, things like natural causes would now be visible. Uh, from space, but they're not. You know, we're not seeing Planet X, uh, which is a huge rumor that's been uh, circulating for years uh, coming into our solar system. We're not discovering an asteroid the length of two football fields entering our solar system inevitably. We're not uh, discovering things like alien UFOs coming into our system. Uh, we have discovered things like what is believed to have been um, alien life. We have also uh, discovered what is believed to be another Earth. Uh, there was a few years ago uh, we discovered another planet that scientists have put a name on. We're discovering things like this all the time, but we haven't discovered anything that is believed to be a severe threat. So I think that the uh, need to panic, uh, there's really no need to get up in arms about this kind of thing, because if something was entering our solar system that was believed to be a definite threat, it would be making headlines on news networks like CNN, uh, we'll be hearing about it on CBC television. We'll be hearing about it all the time. It would be consistently being repeated on news headlines and RSS news feeds on different websites if you're subscribed to any of those. We haven't found anything entering our solar system which is going to be a threat, so with uh, things like this to be discovered, 
uh, usually as it gets closer and closer and closer that we have seen in years past with nothing seeming to be a threat or nothing to have been discovered up until this point and the world not getting into a lot of chaos or becoming in a bit of a panic or uh, anything like that resulting in anything of that nature then I think we can rule those kind of things out so I don't think that um, you know there's there's really a chance uh, of any of this uh, actually happening uh, I think that you know a lot of these videos also on YouTube uh, that a lot of people have been posting uh, ha are, were a big influence on what happened uh, there was one video that was posted a few days ago that I saw I'm not sure what the date was when the video was posted but there was one video that was posted documenting that the world could end because of massive debts uh, that could occur if something of a natural cause were to enter our solar system uh, billions of deaths would occur now the world is averaging now anywhere from eight to nine billion people that is an increase of population from the late nineties and early thousands um, if something was to enter our solar system there is believed to be a lot of debts if it was to make contact with the earth now there are several asteroids uh, that have come in contact with our earth um, very close but I think that it's far enough away that we can kind of rule it out if they're not close enough to be considered threats um, so there are a lot of videos now that are starting to rule these this, these kind of things out and we're seeing things being brought up now about like massive suicides and massive deaths uh, I think that if uh, that that was to happen that would be kind of like a movie uh, if, if that was to happen and let's say two billion people were wiped out because of massive suicides uh, that were to happen which is highly unlikely and very far-fetched about maybe five to six years or even sooner we would see a very successful Hollywood blockbuster released in the way of 2012 or something like Jaws back in the 70s uh, that would give Hollywood an opportunity to create a very successful movie and well-known authors of another age uh, the opportunity to release a top-selling book that would probably reach the top of the New York Times bestseller list or whatever list was in existence in the next age. I think that that YouTube video was the definition of insanity as Albert Einstein defined insanity uh, several years ago. He defined it as expect, uh, doing the same thing over and over again but expecting different results each time. So I think that's kind of insane or ludicrous to believe the world was going to end because of a billion deaths that would occur because of a lot of suicides and really that seems to be something of ludicrousness so I'm going to kind of rule that one out. The end of the mind calendar uh, is of course prediction of a new age uh, which is kind of really cool. That was one of the points uh, that was put across in a YouTube video the other night that I saw uh, of the mind calendar marking the end of an age and the beginning of a new one. That was probably the coolest thing and most realistic thing uh, that was put across in the YouTube video that I saw. It definitely is the end of an age and the culmination of a new age and the beginning of Earth as a 4D planet which is going to be really really cool and if there's anything to look forward to uh, in 2012 it's the transformation of the Earth from a 3D planet into a 4D planet which is actually really cool and something that that will be quite the experience when it happens and also the culmination of a new age where we're going to see uh, great advancements we're going to see uh, life progress beyond the expectations of anybody so I think that if there was any kind of legitimacy put across uh, for the end of the mind calendar if anything was documented that uh, is to be made reference of an acknowledgement to it is the fact that we're going to see the culmination of a new age the end of one age and the entering into an another age that is going to have so many unbelievable things happen so that's one thing that I'm really looking forward to the transformation of earth from a 3D planet into a 4D planet and the culmination of a new age, the end of it one era and the beginning of another. Another thing that uh, I think has really thrown a lot of people off is the fact that we have seen so many prophecies that were foretold uh, by people like Orshadamus and even in the Bible being fulfilled uh, in the late thousands. We're seeing so many things happen that seem to be really uh, indicating to people that we are approaching the end of time and as scary as seeing some of these processes being fulfilled has been uh, I refuse to believe 
that this is the end of time. I really do. Uh, because you're hearing about all these natural causes all the time, and I think that people who strongly believe in all these prophecies are just trying to convince themselves that these prophecies that have been foretold are eventually coming true. I just think that this prophecy that's being foretold by sources like the Bible is very far-fetched, and it's a long way away from happening. This has got to be the most unlegitimate prophecy that was foretold in the Bible. I just think that people who strongly believe in these prophecies, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having strong beliefs, uh, are just trying to relate natural causes to these prophecies to believe in it more than they already do. Um, one thing that you need to take into account is the Bible is just one source of prophecy, and as legitimate as these prophecies may seem in the way that they're all coming in fruition because of the natural causes is you just really can't believe everything that you read and I know that there are a lot of people who strongly believe in what's written in the Bible and I know the Bible is a huge part of a lot of people's lives probably a lot of people who've clicked on this video on YouTube but you can't always take into account everything that you read or hear about from a source like the Bible as real and legitimate as they may seem now a lot of things from the Bible are of legitimacy and actually did happen I'm not saying there's anything wrong with believing what you hear about or read about in the Bible. It's just you can't always believe everything you hear. The only thing of accuracy uh, in relation to the end of time is the transcript.